Hi there, I'm Christian from Maze Adventures. I uh, just want to tell you a little bit about our Go Zero Yeti 3000. Uh, this is our alternative to a DIY solar setup. Uh, we use this to power all of our appliances uh, in our 2011 Sprinter van that we are going to move into in about eight days. So we've been using this uh, for a couple weeks now, just testing it making sure that it's all going to be good when we get on the road. Okay, so let me show you just what it looks like here. Um, as you can see, you got 220 volt AC inputs. You have your USB PD 60 watt inputs um, for like an Android phone, or I, I guess the like a MacBook has this as well, I think. Um, and then, you know, your USB inputs. And you have... Uh, little 12 volt area I think these are eight millimeter um, you'd have to find the cords we don't use these we just use the cigarette lighter um, I'll show you our setup in a moment um, and then you have your input right here with uh, this is the cord that comes with it uh, same as these two here on the MPPT charge controller that comes pre-installed on the 3000 and um, also you got this light right here um, I don't know if you can see that oh, there you go you turn the light on and uh, well it lights it up and then you know you got an info button that'll tell you uh, how many hours you got till it's empty and what percentage your battery's at and then you, know, you can swap through your units your watt hours your volts your amps um, so yeah all that's pretty self-explanatory the MPPT charge controller uh, is what we plug our solar panels directly into basically with a couple of connections that I will uh, go through in a second um, yeah all right so in order to power the Yeti 3000 we use 200 watt monocrystalline solar panels um, I'll put a link in the description to where you can find these on Amazon so you have to get MC4 uh, adapters uh, so that you can connect these two panels together there will be a link to the, in the description to that as well and then you're gonna we use the 10 foot extension so we have the cords that come off the panels these are the adapters inside the van you'll see the extension okay so this is where we keep our Yeti let's see let's see okay so you're gonna have the extension that's gonna plug into this cord which is called an Anderson uh, power cable this particular cord you're gonna have to order from the goal zero website you cannot find this in Amazon um, I took this out for uh, the purpose of the video but I'm gonna show you exactly where this plugs into so you got the red and the black there very simple that's gonna plug in right here and as soon as you plug that in uh, you're live you have power so that's how easy this is you buy the box you plug it in so this thing works great uh, I've been testing it because we're gonna be moving into the van shortly um, I've been running a 20 volt uh, Bose soundbar all day um, during the day it never even takes a percentage away from the battery it always remains at 100% for that we also have this 1800 watt uh, stovetop that we power um, we don't use uh, full heat on this, but it works just fine. Um, also, powers our 12 volt sink pump, two fans, uh, max air fans that draw five amp max. And uh, again, those never take even a percentage away from the battery during the day. In the nighttime, um, it'll start drawing a little bit from the battery life, but uh, I've never seen uh, the Goal Zero go under 90%, so things are looking good in that department. Um, also, I've run a circular saw for about 30 minutes uh, during the day, as well as uh, an orbital sander. Again, didn't take anything from the battery. Alright, so as far as wiring goes, you can hook up a uh, fuse box if you want and you know just wire your lights and s switches for anything you want that way um, 
I we didn't really want to do all the wiring because we don't have that much going on really uh, we just had to get the fans going and the water pump so what we did was use this 12 volt uh, car charger we got one of these okay now this is an adapter that comes with two 12 volt car chargers on the end so we plug this in right here and then uh, this is for our water pump we'll plug that right in and this is for our fans and we'll plug those in and then we're good to go so as far as charging goes like I said I've never seen it go below 90% uh, when we got it in the mail it was fully charged um, supposedly if it's at 0% it'll take about 25 hours to charge uh, to 100% from a wall outlet but you can plug two charges in at a time and cut that in half if you're at the max capacity for solar which is 480 watts you should be able to charge uh, the Yeti in six hours um, I can't really attest to that as we've never had to do any serious charging ourselves this thing has worked wonderfully oh and you can also charge it from the battery in your car so you can run wires straight to the battery if you want or uh, they also make a cable that plugs from your car to your 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter in your car straight to the Yeti so you could charge that while you're driving um, and be good to go so three solid ways of charging um, it's all set up for solar it doesn't really get any easier than this I'm not very good with wiring and all that so I was looking for a way to avoid the whole DIY process um, for installing solar and this thing was definitely the way to go for us. Hopefully this video has provided you with at least some useful information you can take. It would mean a lot if you would give this video a like and maybe subscribe to our channel for more information on our DIY van build as well as our travel vlog. Stay safe. Thank you.